Oh, yes. Now, with the weather we've been having this week, nobody wants a heavy meal. Apart from me. Mark Murphy from Dingle Cookery School has a light lunch option for us today. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Are you Hi, good? Mark. Love what you have on the menu for us today. Because are we salad? With salads, sal yeah. yeah. But it's goat's cheese salad. It's the one salad oh, you see yeah. on menus across the country. And what we want to do is, most times people think of salad as a piece of dead lettuce, a tomato that's been in the fridge for the last mm. few weeks. This one's going to be very light, nice and refreshing. What I have, I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, first of all, we're just going to take some of the beetroot. I've cut it in half. And what we're going to do this, we're going to marinate it, give it another little bit of flavour, give it a little bit of sweetness, but also a little bit of uh, vinegar in there as well. So okay. I'll just get that into the oven. You um, beetroot fan? Massive, I love or... it. Yeah, I love beetroot too. I'd usually buy sort of the vacuum packed stuff. Oh, no. And just slice oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, no, now this will change you forever. Oh, really? Okay. So, so all I've in here is here. a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of sugar as well. OK, just pop that into the oven. That's going to help to give it sweet, a little bit of sour as well, but also bring out the flavour of the beetroot. Well, you're, you're not a fan, well. you said earlier. I'm not, no, I'm not really into pickly kind of thingies like that. But uh, hopefully we'll change your mind as well. Pickly. Pickly. Oh, sorry, pickly. Pickly. Um, so I'm going to just... Cooking this from about an hour in the oven at 170 oh, right. degrees. Okay. And is it worth it? It is. It's going to be so worth oh, it. You're going to, and it's so easy. Look how that, easy that is. Now, all I'm going to do then as well, because the goat's cheese I have is beautiful St. Tola with ash on it. On its own, Delicious. that is fantastic. But we want to give just a little bit of pickled carrot with it. And again, this will really dress up your salad. I've just taken the carrot, getting a vegetable peeler mm -hmm. and a few carrots. Now it looks even a little bit more fancier. What I have in the pickling solution, and again, people think pickling is very difficult. Something like this, it'll give, even for sandwiches, mm. anything like that, it'll really help it. I work with a solution, uh, three parts water, two parts vinegar, one part sugar. And apple that's cider it. vinegar? What uh, kind of vinegar? Yeah, apple cider okay. vinegar maybe, or even nice white wine vinegar, or sherry vinegar is what I love to work yeah. with as well. Nice. This is a huge thing in terms of, you know, the, the, this fad that came through with these Scandinavian restaurants. Exactly. The, big, the best restaurants in the world were all Scandinavian based. And they're all into pickling and fermentation. Some of the restaurants are now actually cooking using fermentation. Yes. Really? It's an incredible really process. And it's it? been around forever, yeah. but it's the last few years it's really come back oh, it's in. Really but come on, when yeah. you taste it, like, you know, it just gives everything a little bit more life. So yeah. you have here the carrots. We could have done that with any vegetable. The good thing about this, all I've got, my solution, just I'm going to just cook that for a little while, just to cook the carrots slightly. Mm. Okay. And I can put that in a jar into the fridge and I can use it for my lunch tomorrow Very or nice. my salad again tomorrow. Again, to think that you're not, the salad is not just something that's boring. You mm. should be excited about a salad. And certainly when you think of salad, the nicest salads you have because you eat with your eyes are colourful. Yes. So, um, look at the colours we've got we have the green today. base, but it's important to introduce the reds, the oranges. Yeah, and especially that it's Pride weekend as well. I think we have all Lots the colours here. Yeah, oh. Can't wait to see what you get. So yeah, for my dressing, uh, <laughs> what I have is a little bit of rapeseed oil. Lovely. So. Again, three parts oil to one part vinegar. That's all you need to ever work with. Okay. So, like, cooking should be, for the most part, it, should be, it shouldn't be a chore. You should enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You should. And you should be, when you're feeding someone, you should be proud of what you're doing. So, this again, a little bit of colour, but just nice freshness. Today is a day that you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're probably going to sit outside, eat this. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to enjoy it. So, I'm going to just, I'm going to just taste that, see how that is. Three parts oil, one part. Balsa, is it? Vinegar. Again, vinegar. I've used Balsa. sherry vinegar, but you could use use the vinegar that you like. And a pinch of salt and pepper then to taste. Nice. Yeah, that's Happy. it. You love that. You would love it. Good. So Great. You'd love it. What are you going to do pudding? with the goat's cheese? Then? The goat's cheese doesn't need anything. Like what you oh, have with the Centola ash. It just needs to be handed just, to me. And I'm yeah. sorry about it. <laughs> I just need you to mind it. The ash on it would just, like some of the cheese makers would put a little bit of ash on it and that helps to dry it out a little bit, but it gives a lovely flavour as well. Beautiful. And for people that don't really like goat's cheese, do you know, sometimes it needs to be cooked. This one's lovely and mild, lovely salt, low salt content. Could you do well. this with a feta cheese or you something? You could, or yeah. if you don't like... Nice crumbled uh, exactly, cheese. Exactly, or nice sheep's cheese, or lovely. even a little bit of cheddar. So yeah, yeah. even though, like, you know, and again, the way people should cook is move away from recipes. If you don't, if you don't like goat's cheese, if you don't yeah. like cheese, don't put it in there. Okay. Put whatever. A right, salad let's get this bad boy together, Mark. Great. You hungry? I'm hungry. And the producer's screaming in me. OK, here. all right. I love goat's cheese. Usually I would put it in the oven, though. You bake it? Mm. That's beautiful. I would bake it. So but this is my, the one that we just had, right? Okay. And then... Try and leave it in the marinade as well. Okay. Okay. Now we could have added capers to that, that as well. Colour, beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm. So we'll just Bright put another one in there. Pink. I need to we'll be sold on it. We'll see. Ah, you will. 
I mean, we'll convert to, yeah, okay. I think we'll convert to. And is it okay to leave a little bit of the... The liquid uh, in with liquid it? In with yeah, and I'm going to even pickled. use that to dress it then a little bit okay. as well. So what we're going to do here is very quickly, and for your salads, just dress them just before you're ready to go to the table. Well, Otherwise like, they go in. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. You don't and want that in the salad. Your salad leaves your as fridge. well. Just, again, get some nice few salad leaves. <laughs> We're just going to put a bit of that bit in of the, the colour. centre. Beautiful. We'll pick out a bit of beetroot. Really fresh. And where's the star of the show? Where's the goat's cheese? It's coming now. Did you have you eaten it already? No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm standing by right here. And you see just again the lovely colour on and this. And you usually guy. put two thin slices like that. Yeah, or else if you wanted, you could have crumbled this up. But that especially looks stunning. with Saint Tola, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't put too much with it. And a little bit of juice just over it. But beautiful. Right, let's chuck in. Wow, so Laura, pretty and fresh. Do you work away? No? Thank you so much. Later you're on, what are you going welcome. to be making for us, Mark? Later on, I'm going to have a nice bit of pan fried mackerel. Oh, uh, with that, I'm just going to put a little potato salad, a little mustard dressing with it as well. Again, just nice and summery. I can't wait to see what you think of the beetroot. Mm. Is it gorgeous? Have mm. we converted you? I Nearly. Mean, He's a happy I mean. man. <laughs>